Uh, so now what are we going to see? We are going to see a brief of evolution or how software testing has evolved uh, from the early earlier phases uh, in the software development uh, to uh, how it reached in its present form. Okay, so we can actually uh, divide this entire phase into uh, testing 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0. So what we'll see is, uh, you know, in the initial phase, if you see, it was all, or, or it was actually a debugging oriented phase where we will see um, if, you know, uh, the system is running properly and all that. Further, we see, we can see that, uh, uh, you know, uh, whether it is correct. So it was demonstration oriented phase where we check out of a program. Uh, we'll see, uh, we'll run the program and see for its correctness, okay. And then you can see destruction oriented phase. So as compared to the early period of software testing like debugging oriented phase uh, the, where the programmers, uh, you know, will see and uh, remove the bugs and demonstration oriented phase where they check for the correctness according to the mentioned requirements in the destruction oriented phase uh, you know here uh, the testing point of view has changed okay here what uh, they uh, the uh, testers didn't actually try to show that uh, you know uh, uh, Testing to show the absence of error was the whole point here and it changed to testing to find more and more errors. That is what is the change from the early software testing phase, uh, the first two phase to this phase. Okay. So, uh, here we see that uh, more and more uh, test cases were used to explore more bugs. So, in this phase, you know, effective testing is um, given more importance than exhaustive testing. Further, now we have evaluation oriented phase where, uh, you know, here we realize that if bugs were identified at the earlier stage of development, then, you know, it is e cheaper to remove and um, uh, to fix compared to identifying it in the later stages or post implementation. So here actually quality software development or quality software products, uh, developing quality software products came into picture. The focus uh, has shifted. In this case, uh, you know, verification and validation activities uh, you know started coming into picture okay then uh, so we have we uh, you know uh, national bureau of standard released a set of standards that should be focused and all that happened at this stage further if you see uh, we have prevention oriented phase what do we have here Prevention oriented phase uh, basically uh, is bug prevention compared to you know bug earlier bug uh, uh, earlier phases what we were seeing was bug detection but in this phase what are we seeing we are seeing prevention that is how we can prevent the uh, bugs um, so um, so, there were actually prevention model that came into picture that includes test planning, test analysis and test design activities. Then we have process oriented phase which is what is happening now. Okay. Uh, so, you can see that, um, you know, testing process, um, the complete process is established instead of a single phase in the software development life cycle. So, if uh, in in your um, software engineering subject you would have learned SDLC right in SDLC what exactly uh, is a testing phase it is actually a phase of the entire software development process but 
the, that is not the case now in the real world. Uh, testing is actually uh, something that starts as soon as the requirements are uh, requirements are uh, consolidated. Okay, uh, there is something called a testing process that is being laid out um, that maps uh, to each testing activity that has to be done. We will be learning that further in detail in depth. Okay, so the entire process you see, uh, we can uh, map it to testing 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0 in which, uh, you know, testing, uh, software testing 1.0 is a phase uh, where uh, there was no software test organization. Uh, there were very limited testing tools present and the main goal was actually to see that uh, you know our software is working fine there it doesn't have any error whereas in software testing 2.0 phase um, it it gained more importance you can see here uh, you know that there were more direction and planning and how uh, exhaustive test uh, instead of exhaustive testing we can perform adequate testing and all that uh, was the focus point uh, so in at this phase now many testing tools were also available now in, when it comes to software testing 3.0 phase testing is evolved in the form of a process as you can see what is happening now so we have a roadmap of all the testing activities that is happening and um, uh, what drives the testing process is actually the quality so Whatever be the software, um, you know, development form, the major goal is quality and uh, the there will be uh, controlling and monitoring activities and all that that is involved. Okay, so this is basically the uh, the uh, software testing, uh, how software testing has evolved from the earlier software development phase and how it has reached in the current phase. Now we will see the um, software testing myths and facts. So I'm gonna uh, give you these statements here and I'm going to leave it to you people to think whether these are just, is it true or not, okay? Software testing is a single phase in SDLC. What do you guys think about it? Is it just a single phase? Um, uh, then software testing is easy. Of course, we have had a discussion about it already, right? Software development is worth more than testing. What do you think about it? Is testing, um, you know, below software development? And... Uh, what do you think about the next statement which is complete software testing is possible or not? Then <coughs> testing starts after program development. Then the purpose of testing it is, is to check the functionality of the software. Do you think anyone can be a tester? So uh, in the tomorrow's, tomorrow's discussion session, we will have a detailed discussion on each point. So I want you people to come prepared with your thoughts on these statements, what I have present, uh, presented here. Okay. So moving on. Uh, now, what are the goals of software testing? You So you see here, software testing is a process, right? Why do someone have to test? So there has to be some goals that we need to achieve uh, when we are performing software testing. And what are they? So we have something called immediate goal or, goal or short term goal. Then we have long term goal and post implementation goal. So what do you mean by short term goal? Short term goal is in, in some time, in, in the recent time I want to achieve something. That is short term goal and that is bug discovery and bug prevention um, is a, uh, is a uh, immediate goal. So obviously, right, why, by performing software testing, uh, 
I want to find the errors at any stage in the development, then I should um, interpret the bugs discovered and I should be able to fix it so that, you know, in the later phases or in the entire project, it should, it should not be there, right, or it, the bugs should be minimized. Then coming uh, to long-term goal. So, you see here... Um, Long-term goals will have quality, of course, obviously, uh, software testing. Um, when can I say that uh, something is reliable? That is, if, when can you say a fire alarm is reliable? When fire is happening, it should detect the smoke uh, and it should work at that particular time, right? That is when we can say a fire alarm is reliable. In a similar way, uh, a software is reliable if it provides the functionality at a particular point of time as and when it is required. And testing will ensure that a software is reliable. If it is reliable, then we can say that of course, quality software, that the software is of good quality. If um, if from a user, see, I have a fire alarm and if that fire alarm is providing me the functionality that I want, then I will say that I am happy with the uh, fire alarm, right? So, as a customer, I am satisfied if uh, it is having enough, uh, if, if it is of good quality. Now, uh, what do you mean by risk management? That is one of the long-term goals. So, what do you mean by risk management? So, basically, risk is nothing but, uh, you know, what if some undesirable events happen, okay? Uh, so, uh, actually, the management or, you know, uh, the organization who is providing um, uh, uh, providing the service should make sure that the risk or all undesirable events are managed properly. So, software testing can be used to control or eliminate or minimize the risk. And what can be the risk factors? Risk factors can be like resources, critical features or cost and all can be the risk factors. And this should be managed well. So, it is a tester's responsibility to evaluate these risk factors and see, uh, and see uh, the assessment. Okay. Uh, so, based on which uh, we will have a reliable software that has good quality that will make the customer satis uh, satisfied, that will leave the customer satisfied. Further, we have post-implementation goals. So, you, I hope you remember the graph that I show that once the software is released to the customer after the production, uh, imagine if a bug is found, then the cost is going to be too high, right? So, the, may, the goal is to find out as many bugs as possible during the product, uh, during the pre or the production phase so that during the post production we will have as much as, I mean, uh, we will have least expenditure as possible. Further, improve the software testing process because post implementation we very well know that there will be changes in the software. When we have to add more and more features, uh, then you know it will be easy if the already existing part is well tested and well analyzed so that you know we will uh, not have any um, any glitches when we are trying to integrate new uh, parts. So, uh, so, you know, uh, bug history and post-implementation results we can analyze to uh, see what is uh, the problem in the current uh, process that can be rectified future. Okay, so this is all about goals of software testing. Okay, thank you.